Hello, guys. Welcome to my channel. This is Fever Pastel. How have you guys been doing? Today, I will introduce water cooling kit. There are currently two options: 8,000 watts and 12,000 watts. So, how should we choose water cooling kit for ASICs? 8,000 watts is suitable for one-piece machine that changes from air-cooled to water-cooled. We all know that S19 is about 3,250 watts with a fluctuation of 5%. Plus, the power consumption of the device itself is 0.16 kilowatts. If you want to run high power mode or cold cook, then you need an 8 kilowatts water cooling kit to work it perfectly. 12 kilowatts water cooling kit suitable for anti miner and worst miner M33 plus series hydro miner. The power consumption of S19 Hydro is 5,226 watts, and 12 kW water cooling kit can achieve better cooling effect, and the miner machine operation will also be more stable. What is shown here is 12 water cooling kit. It has a built-in 220 voltage power supply. The fan speed can be adjusted automatically, and for sure you can also set it manually here. You only need to prepare 8 liters of distilled water and coolant. Do not use tap water. We will assemble it before shipping. You only need to connect the power code after receiving it. Now we will show you how to connect the hydro miner. Next, we will show you how to connect water cooling kit to the hydro miner. We need to prepare. This is the empty fluids, which takes about 8 liters. This is the 10 mm water pipe. And this is the funnel. This is the water inlet and outlet of the water cooling kit. This is the water inlet and outlet of the mining machine. Then we used the S19 Hydro 132 terahertz as a sample. Next, we will show you how to connect water cooling kit to the hydro miner. Now we connect the water cooling kit to the hydro miner. Next, we need to open the vent and fill in the tank with anti fluid. Connect the water cooling kit power code. We need to observe whether the water level in the water tank drops. If the water level drops, continue to add antifreeze until the water level does not drop. It takes about 2 or 3 times. Keep one half of the antifreeze in the water tank during operation. When these are ready, put the vent back on. The next step is to plug the internet and the power cords into the S19 Hydro and get it running. We run in normal mode with a hash rate of 132. After running for 8 minutes, let's take a look at the actual date. We can see that all indicators are normal. Now that we have completed the connection between the water cooling kit and the hydro miner, 
We can touch the water pipe with our hands to feel the temperature. The water temperature is not very hot and the cooling effect is very good. We can hear the noise of the water cooling kit at 60 to 70 decibels. You can choose to place it outdoors. By the way, it's worth to mention that this water cooling kit has various usage scenarios and can be installed on the wall or outside the window. Hope you guys will like it. Okay, that's all for this video. What do you think of this water cooling kit? If you want to know more about pastel manners, welcome to contact me. Bye!